Hey, beautiful soul. You're listening to the Rising into Mindful Motherhood podcast, your weekly dose of fertility wisdom. I'm your host, Dr. Katie Wood. I'm a barefoot mama bear, pharmacist, and integrative fertility coach. This is your go-to podcast for all things to naturally nourish your fertility, embody womb healing, and reclaim your feminine power to accelerate your path to pregnancy. My expert guests and I will be having intentional conversations to discuss the many facets of a thriving, fertile foundation, natural wellness, and how we grow and transform as women on our journey to motherhood. So let's dive in, shall we? Hello and welcome to Rising Into Mindful Motherhood. Thank you so much for tuning in. And this episode, I literally just got back from an amazing vacation with my entire family. So my dad and my stepmom, between the both of them, there's six kids. Some of us have kids of our own. I think we had about 18 people or so in one house in the Outer Banks, and it was a lot of fun. I am starting to feel a little congested. My daughter ended up getting sick towards the end of the vacation, so that was interesting. It was a little wild, but she is such a trooper, and this week I am so excited because tomorrow... The Fertile Womb Embodiment Immersion starts, and I cannot wait to share my framework with you on how you can drop from your head. Now, some of you might not really know what I, what do I mean by that? So a lot of times we can become very stuck in our thinking mind, right? We try to over-rationalize decisions, which can lead to overthinking. It can lead to doubting ourselves, our truth, what feels aligned for us because we're only using our minds. We're only using our brains, right? And I'm sure a lot of you have heard of left brain, right brain, right? The left hemisphere of the brain is very logical, rational thinking. And the right side of the brain is more the creative uh, flow and thinking, so to say. So a lot of us are just really, really stuck in our minds, in our heads, thoughts, beliefs swirling around in our brains, whether they're good thoughts or negative thoughts. There's so many different things that can be holding you back on your fertility journey. And believe me, I was there. As a pharmacist, as a highly motivated, highly driven woman, type A personality go-getter, I was very much in my logical mind all of the time. And I was on 13 years of hormonal birth control. And in my personal experience, in my opinion, that further disconnects us from our bodies, right? We're turning off, we're silencing our cyclical monthly rhythm in nature. And it may not seem that way because depending on the type of birth control you're taking, it appears like you're getting a cycle, your period every month, but it's really just a withdrawal bleed. It's not a true bleed that comes with ovulation. So I digress, (laughs) kind of went off a tangent there. But that's what I mean when I say dropping from our thinking mind, our logical brain, and dropping into our body. And when you can drop into your body, you are able to connect to your intuition, to your soul, to your womb space. And you are able to begin communicating and dialoguing and deciphering and interpreting sensations and messages and signals from 
your body. And this is paramount. If you want to have a child, you want to expand your family, and you've been struggling, I'm willing to bet that you find it difficult to make a decision. Whether it's making a decision on your own or you ask others to help you make a decision, you look to others for the quote unquote right choice that you should do, whether it's a fertility doctor, your OBGYN, or maybe if you don't look outside to others, maybe you have this internal struggle inside of yourself, right? Let's just say you're presented with an option. You've been trying for over a year and your doctor's like, oh, we can try IUI. And this is nothing against IUI. This is just an example. Inside, you are feeling like, "Mm, that doesn't feel right for me right now in this moment. Maybe not ever, but right now in this moment, that, that doesn't feel right. But you have your doctor telling you, no, this is the only way you can get pregnant. You can't get pregnant naturally. We can start with IUI and go on from there, but this is how you can only get pregnant. But inside you're like, it doesn't feel right. But on the other hand, the doctor is telling me this is the only way I can get pregnant. So I guess, I guess I have no choice. This is what I have to do. Wrong. So an internal struggle really deciding when realistically, if you could tap in, tune into your body and really sit with that sensation that you were feeling when you were like, "Mm, this doesn't feel right. This doesn't feel like the best decision for us to make right now. If you were able to sit with that longer and also trust in yourself, in your body, then you're able to make decisions that are meant for you, that are right for you, that are in alignment with your desires. Now, I'll give you one personal example. And I like to share this example because I feel like it's a pretty big decision to make. My husband and I had always planned on doing a natural hospital birth. We had decided to have a doula. And I had brought up the idea of having a home birth at some point early on in pregnancy. And we shrugged it off because it's like, oh, we're 30 minutes from the hospital. That's not safe. And, you know, more things started presenting themselves to me, little nuggets from the universe or God, if you will, pointing me in that direction. And when I truly sat down with it, I could feel the discomfort, the constriction in my body when I envisioned having a hospital birth. And then when I sat with having a home birth, that felt good to me. That felt safe. It felt right. And yes, we did our due diligence. We interviewed and found an amazing midwife. And we did everything we could to make sure that I had a low-risk, healthy pregnancy. So we switched from having a hospital birth to a home birth about halfway, if not a little bit further along in my pregnancy. And that's because I tuned in and I listened and I trusted So all of this to say, in my own personal fertility struggle and what I experience with the women in my fertility community and my clients is a deep mistrust within our own bodies, right? We've been taught since we were little girls to... Be the good girl. 
Don't say what's on your mind. Don't ruffle feathers. Don't rock the boat. And that our menstrual cycles are dirty and we can get pregnant any day of the month and that's going to ruin our lives. You know, all these things, just so much mistrust and misguidance and and really cutting off that connection to our womb space because we're getting put on birth control as soon as our menses start because they're either irregular or we're having symptoms and that's the solution is to put us on this pill or these artificial hormones. But what I have noticed is it's hard. It's hard to make decisions from that energetic frequency. It's hard to make decisions and choices that are in alignment with what is right for you in that headspace, especially if we weren't able to voice our opinions, our needs, our desires as children, it becomes very hard to do that as an adult. And one of my recent clients she had actually made quite a large life change after doing this work. Exactly what I am teaching in the fertile womb embodiment is what I worked with her on. And she quit her job. She shifted jobs to something else. And she had told me, had I not done this work, I never would have done that. I never would have done this. But she tuned in, she listened to her body, she trusted, and she made that decision, and she got pregnant with a luteal phase defect, might I add, right? Because that was an alignment for her. It was, her body was able to relax and let go and not You know, when you're, if you have ever experienced having a job that doesn't bring you fulfillment, it doesn't bring you joy, it doesn't bring you happiness. And just the thought of going to work on Sunday nights is, it ruins your day, right? Your mood is down. I have to go to work for the week. Like doing that every single week, day in and day out, Monday through Friday, and your body is just like, you know, mustering through, pushing through. So when we're able to ground ourselves, set an intention, and be with our body, we're able to listen. We're able to receive We're able to open ourselves up, open our wombs up. Our feminine power center, the center of creativity, fertility, right? Fertility isn't always just about having babies. It's about creation, creation of life, creation of ideas, creation and gestation and birthing of our desires but if we're only in our mind we miss out on all of that we're not connected there is a disconnect from the head down we miss out on those subtle sensations right if a situation is presented to us and we get a pit in our stomach, like, oh, you just feel like you could get sick. That's a huge sign. Like, something is not right. I'll give you another example. So on vacation last week, I have some people in my family who are always go, 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 like need to be moving, 
need to be going somewhere. And I like to usually relax and, and not necessarily make plans when I'm on vacation because I'm always on the go and I always have calls and things that I have to do. And I had noticed you know, I was doing, trying to keep up with them, doing things with them. It felt, you know, I enjoyed it. But then there was a day where my body was like, "Mm -mm." I felt exhausted. I felt total brain fog. I didn't feel good. So I was like, hey, I'm going to set this one out. I'm going to stay home, hang out with my daughter. I did some tapping, some energy work. And I felt like a million bucks after I did that. But that's because I have this built awareness where I was able to like catch it. Like, ooh, you don't feel great right now, Katie. Let's look at this. Let's slow down. Let's breathe and connect with ourselves. But I don't know six, seven, eight, nine, ten years ago, like I would have been like, let's go, let's go do it, right? Let's go walk 10 miles down the beach and then go shopping and do all these things. And that's because I'm overriding those signals that my body would be giving me, not listening. And a lot of us do that. And I can even catch myself doing that too. But it's when you have that built-in awareness that you can be like, oh, wait a minute. I don't like how this feels. I'm going to take a step back. I'm going to take a moment for myself. Even though maybe I'm feeling pressure from the outside to do X, Y, or Z, I'm going to, I'm going to give myself some space to move through that. So, Fertile Womb Embodiment Immersion starts tomorrow. It's a seven-day long immersion. If you're listening to this after April 30th, I almost said 31st, that doesn't exist. (laughs) I want you to join, okay? I want you to join. You'll be able to sit with the material and I don't want to say catch up because I don't want you to feel rushed, but you'll be able to still kind of go back to what we worked through and learn it and embody it and be able to integrate it into your life. So even if you're not joining us right when we start, I want you to join. You are going to learn what it is to be in your body to be present with yourself, to be able to interpret and sense what your body is trying to speak to you. And once you're able to do that, the gloves are off, right? Like this small piece that I'm going to be teaching you in this next week is life changing even as someone myself who's been meditating and doing a lot of mindfulness practices once I learned this small this piece I was like my gosh this makes so much sense but I never actually experienced it in the past for myself and you're gonna be able to take this and apply it to so many other pieces of your life it's not just for fertility it's for everything your job, your family, your friends. If you are an entrepreneur like me, your business, it is. it can be applied to so many areas of life. And I can tell you right now, you're going to want this in your toolbox for pregnancy, for birth, for motherhood. There's going to be so many times when You are at a fork in a road and you have to decide, am I going to go left or am I going to go right? How do you want to make that decision? Do you want to make that decision based off of what your family and friends are saying, what 
your doctor is telling you? Or do you want to be able to, you know, take that information, process it, sit with it, and make that decision for yourself that is in alignment with you, with your soul, with your desires, that's going to lead you to your desire, the outcome that you are looking for. I don't know about you, but I want me. I want that for myself and I want that for you. And that's why I'm doing this free seven day immersion. So you can come into this beautiful, sacred, safe and intimate space with other women who are like, hell yes, I want this for myself. I want this for my family, my children, right? These things I'm teaching my daughter right now. I'm teaching her to trust in her body, not to shame it and blame it, to trust. So if you want that for yourself, for your family, for generations beyond what you can imagine, then go to the link in the show notes, sign up, join us and immerse yourself in this beautiful energetic frequency that is the container and i can't wait to see you there i'll see you soon thank you so much for tuning in to the rising into mindful motherhood podcast if this episode resonated with you or gave you an aha moment stop what you're doing right now and write a review This simple act of kindness helps me get this podcast out to connect with as many women as I possibly can. I also have a special offer. If you send me a screenshot of your review, I will take $250 off one of my premium coaching containers. Let me know what resonated with you the most and why. So connect with me and my free Facebook community or tag me on Instagram. You'll find both listed below. Thanks again from the bottom of my heart for tuning into this episode and I'll see you next time.